Hey everyone, it's a rather wet Friday evening and in this video I've got some double O gauge model railway stuff to show you. Uh, this week I've actually bought uh, a fair number of items, a lot of it is actually coaches. <laughs> because I do lack coaches, well at least uh, usable coaches, apart from the ones in my uh, inner city 125s and the ones I got with the uh, 37. So, uh, pretty much all of what I'm about to show you I got from the same seller on Facebook over the course of this week. Apart from one item which I bought on eBay and I've got another item uh, to arrive in the mail hopefully sort of Tuesday, Wednesday next week as I bought it today which is another pair of coaches um, they're actually LMS coaches and I can't remember what I got <laughs> I think it was one cafe car, restaurant car and one um, corridor car or coach I think I'll have to double check that later anyway um, while we're on the subject of rolling stock and whatnot, my stepdad has decided to sell all his double O gauge railway stuff. And that's going to go on eBay. I'm taking this camera down there tomorrow to photograph stuff and help him list it. And uh, he's let me have first dibs. So I've actually got a box of stuff there that uh, once we've come to an agreement, hopefully I can bring it back. So hopefully. There'll be a part two, or another haul video, I should say, in the near future. Um, he did say for helping him I can pick a couple of items to have for helping him, so... But uh, I don't want him to feel he's got to give me some sort of special family deal. I want to pay their value, you know. I don't want him to feel like he's going to lose cash. <laughs> or feel like that I'm expecting him to give me a discount, no. What he thinks it's worth, let me know, and I'll pay it off over the next sort of few weeks or so, whatever. Anyway, let's get into the nitty gritty. So, I'll just pan the camera around like so. That is what I have got. The eBay purchase is this LMS coach here, which is the uh, brake coach. And the whole reason I went on eBay and bought this for just £10 boxed is because from this lad on Facebook I bought this one. So I've now got a pair so far and I should, when the other two arrive, have a rake of four. That was my plan. And I paid £10 for that as well and this is boxed. A lot of this did come with the box. Uh, I just haven't put them back in the boxes after I took them out because I couldn't resist having a play with them. <laughs> so, yeah. So that has got its box. It's, the box is actually on the bed. I can't show you, I've got the boxes. The dapple boxes, because this rake of three here are dapple coaches. I'll show you those in a minute. Their boxes are in the lounge. So there we go. Composite coach goes with that one which is obviously a lot newer than that one which is probably why that one's got the silver roof and that's got the grey roof but that doesn't bother me so we've got another box there but we haven't got to that item yet so that's those that is actually in very very good condition I don't think it's actually been used a great deal it's a pity he didn't have more of these for sale to be honest um, apparently he's only young lad, he's younger than me um, and they've moved into a new estate here in town and he's trying to um, thin out his collection a bit and make some room but according to his mum who I was speaking to today when I picked up a bunch of items as fast as he sells stuff like this he's buying new stuff and filling up the space he's cleared so but I think anyone who has any hobby does exactly the same thing I've done it with my Lego, I've done it with my toy cars, I do it with my computers, you know, I clear a load of stuff out of the way, I either sell it, dump it, scrap it, give it away, whatever. And then I go and fill up that space again with 
more stuff. <laughs> so, right. So put that over there. I'll give you a close up. I'm going to get this out of the box later because um, I've got my Flying Scotsman over off camera and I've got my LMS 4F Fowler as well. That's, that's one of the reasons I wanted the LMS coaches as well. That's why I went for that other one over the just rolled away over the back there. Um, to go with the LMS 4F Fowler. So there's the uh, brake coach. The lighting is not very good and I actually have some spotlights right behind you. Right behind the camera, anyway. Right. I don't know what to go for next. Let's do all the coaches, we'll get those out of the way. So I've got this rack, rack, rake of dapple coaches. And I can't remember what this type is actually called. But it's the non-corridor type. I have to say, these the plastic for the bogies feel a bit weak on these dapple ones. But they are nice and they do roll really, really well. So we've got two of these and the other one is, of course, the brake coach. So I have got a rake. So I can put all three of these. Like I said, I've got the, um, let me just, I can squeeze past. So I'm going to go and get the dapple coach box. Or at least one of them. picked up two of them. <laughs> so I've got the one for the uh, corridor brake coach and the other one is a stainer. Stania rather not stainer I can read. The Stania non-corridor composite BR lined maroon. BR maroon. Right. That also proves I have got the dapple boxes for those as well. Not that I'm really fussed about the boxes, but it is nice to have some. And I suppose when it comes to something like this, it, it means they hold their value more. Right. Keeping with the coach theme. Oh, by the way, these the Dapple coaches, the rake, they were £30 for the three. Um, so basically a tenner each. And these were eight quid for the pair. And I've got two of these uh, in the sea blue brake coaches, which are rather rough. Uh, oh gee, it's not this one. Um, yeah, that coupler seems to have uh, been in the walls. They're a bit rough, but I thought... I've got Preserved Railway theme. These were only eight quid for the pair. I've got some rough, naturally rough looking coaches that I could sit on a siding. You know, perhaps they're awaiting restoration. This one, I think, has actually got lights in it. And I might... Uh, Stick this on the track later and just see if it does light up. Actually, let's do that now. And it rolls. Mm. May need some. Uh... Of course, it's not going to work because I didn't have the freaking power on, did I? Well, it sparks, but it's not doing much else. <laughs> so there must be a short there somewhere. Um, I'll have to poof, take that apart and have a look. I'm pretty certain that's got lights in that. So yeah, two of those, they're pretty rough looking, but for eight pounds, I'm not going to complain. This one, I can't actually remember how much of this is, but this, or how much it was, but it's just a little old Lima CCT wagon. Covered, covered, I can't remember what it stands for now. But uh, yeah, I just thought it was quite a little, quite an interesting wagon. Yeah, that actually rolls quite nicely. And of course, when I saw these, I had to have these for the Flying Scotsman. I've got two LNER coaches as well. These are corridor coaches. So we've got the corridor coach times one, 
and we have the brake coach as well. It's a shame he didn't have another couple of these because I wouldn't have minded uh, four of these. Now, I was looking on eBay later to get another couple, perhaps a restaurant car or something and another one of these, but a lot of people are only selling these in groups of three or rakes of three. And of course, I come with the brake van, but I've already got the brake van. The brake coach, I've already got a brake coach, so I don't want another brake coach. Uh, really, I just want another one of these, and like I said, the buffet car or the restaurant car. Right, before we get to the locos, a set of three Backman trucks with the. Uh, I thought it was coal, but it's the wrong colour. That's um, ballast in the top of there. So, it's been pre uh, filled, I suppose. And I've got another Backman truck here. Coal. The camera is actually shadowing everything. <laughs> um, we'll have these out as well. I'll run those on something probably on the uh, Hunslet here. So got the warship, class 42 warship, Benbow, which runs beautifully. Really happy with this. I still think it's an ugly locomotive to a degree. <laughs> but I do like it. Uh, that was £37, and it is DCC ready. There's no DCC chip in it. I don't run DCC anyway, so it doesn't matter. And my stepdad said that that was a very good price. A very, very good price for a DCC ready loco. But here's the box. Let's put it on the end there if you want to read it. So, I'm going to that back on the side. So we don't want to ruin these boxes. Normally I'm not one to keep boxes for air, for any of my hobbies, but I will for this. This even came with a box as well. This was £45, so it was a bit more for this little 060 Hunslet. Very good detail on this. I really do like it. It's slow. That's the only problem with it. It runs pretty slow. Not ridiculously slow, but it is definitely slower than a lot of my other locomotives. Right. That is it. Um, with a lot of the stuff I've put aside at my stepdad's, most of it is actually rolling stock. There is a few locos there. There's a couple of DMUs because I do like my DMUs. Um, and I think it's mostly diesel locos. I might chuck one um, steam loco in, but he. See, most of his is DCC, and that's not much use to me. I mean, yeah, I could, because he could take the DCC chip out, put a blank on it, and sell the DCC chip, but uh, I'll let him sell the whole locos, because I think I've actually got a good sort of variety of locos. I wouldn't mind some more larger steam locos, because most of mine, I read the 060s like this. In fact, I've only got two 060s. This is the second one. I've actually got three, but the other one doesn't work. Which is a shame, because the one that doesn't work is my only main line. Um, I am trying to fix it, though, as to drive wheels that are being a pain in the ass. But anyway, the rest are all 040s. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind some nicer sized locomotives like uh, the Scotsman here, which I'll put on the track. And we'll get his, uh, that went on there surprisingly easy. I've got to glue the weight down and that to come off. As quick as you put it back in place, it just comes off, off again. I didn't put that on the track very well, did I? Let me make sure we still work. Yay! Haven't had this running for a while. There we go. Oof. Smells like good old fashioned scale electric mower. Hot. Right. Sure, they sit quite close actually. I've actually seen on eBay as well, people make the little, um, corrugated sections to go between the uh, coaches. 
quite cheap they sell those for as well, but I don't want to go into that much detail. I'm happy as is. There we go. Yay! Got you got an LNER train! There's something wrong with that point connection up there. I think I've got the brake van on backwards, but never mind. Oh, actually, I know I've got the brake van on backwards. Whoops! I put the guard area first. Frontwards, that's supposed to be at the bit. What is that bouncing over there? Oh, I love that smell of a motor running. Just caught the uh, tripod. Right, let's get me Fowler on the track. The downside is the controller is behind you guys. Right. For some reason, we have no life. Is it the controller that's being? Did I actually plug it back in? I unplugged it earlier. Yep. No. Nope. Okay, I'm going to have to put it on the uh, outside track then. That one doesn't want to play ball. For some reason? Right. Do you reckon I'll be able to do it? I bet you I can't re-rail it doing that. There we go. Right. Let's put the uh, Dapol coaches on. find a replacement hook for that end. Actually no, I know I've got the hook but that one keeps falling off. It kind of ticks me off. Well that was my fault it falls off in the first place because I twanged it when I got it out of the box. Yeah, there's a joint right where that coach has come off, um, which seems to be causing some problems. So she runs great when she's uh, like that. <laughs> coach recovery! <laughs> You are supposed to be on the rear. <laughs> I get it. As you can see, the dapples run fine. Apart from it loses the coach because one of the hooks have come off. But the stupid thing is, there's no hook on the back of this um, Fowler. And it stayed on. For some reason. Alright, let's make it a proper LMS train, shall we? Okay, not like that I want because there's no hook on that end. 
Oh yeah, this is the one that didn't come with the hook, isn't it? I'll try and get this out here now. run this one then we'll have a look at the uh, two new ones. Actually you know what I'm going to do? Can't see a great deal there can you? I'm going to bring you back a little bit. I can't zoom out because you are zoomed out as far as it'll go. Look at that, straight on the track. I'm not seeing a great deal of wheel slip either. Notice that they are slightly different colour. Look, I wonder if it's because one's newer than the other. I've noticed the wheels are different as well. Right, we let that do a few trips of the layout, and uh, we can open up some of these and have a better look at the trucks. If I can get the cellophane to open. a sharp object that's not working. There we go. Just need something to pop the cellophane, that's all. Oh, the cellophane's being such a pig. There we go. One. Two. <laughs> Get close to the track. Three. And of course, we're going to have to get this one out of the box. But look, this one was actually bought very local to me. An Alsham, actually, because that's where the Bure Valley Railway shop is. That's the original price, and that was dropped to £5.99. And I got it for £4. I just like the style of these trucks and we've got to see if I can find some more. Or the colour I should say. That could do with something put into it, couldn't it? Right, let's just put that on there for now. This one is actually fairly new, look, it's got the uh, changeable couplers. Whereas these three have not. They've got the older style. And they are Backman. 19934, I have no idea what that is. 19941. One nine nine four two. No idea. Whoops. The gorge fell over. Oh, I just found out why the middle track doesn't work. The wires come off. <laughs> so it's not the controller at all. Oh well, we'll stick to this line for now. Right, should we send some of these, or uh, the two new locos around the track? Let's put this one on. Why is it doing that? That's off. And as soon as I say that, that stops. I've noticed that with this controller. Some locos, when I put them on here, and I first flip the switch to turn it on, it'll jerk, and sometimes I'll crawl along. There we go. I do like trucks, because they're nice and easy to put on the track. We'll put these on. don't think this is very powerful, so personally I don't think this is actually going to work, to be honest. 
that's not going to work because that is too high. What about the other end? It's got it, but it's twisted. What I mean, I've actually got that wound all the way, it's not very fast, is it? It's not ridiculously slow, but it's not fast. It is pretty quiet though. But I've heard mixed views on these um, DJ models. I forgot to mention that's a DJ model. See? There's the box. Yeah, my stepdad said they're pretty good, and some others I've spoken to say they don't last very long. Yep, I want at least another three of these. The Stanton ones, that would be nice. My stepdad hasn't got any of those, though, so I'm going to have to eBay those, I think. Yeah, did you see the front of that hands that jump when it hit that? last joint on that point. Stop, stupid thing. Right, I'm going to put the warship on next. Which um, also has the same coupler as that. See? Apparently you can swap them for a different style of coupler. What I do like these smaller couplers, the only problem it is they seem to put a bigger gap in there. But uh, this is actually quite nippy. That's not going to struggle at all with that. Despite I think that warship is not the prettiest of uh, locomotives, it is one of my favourites now. I do like watching that one going around. The uncoupler on that triangle that's connected to the truck has uh, gone twisted to one side. It looks like someone's tried to glue it in place. It does seem to be affecting the, uh, the way it's being pulled though. So, but the other one's a bit high, it just won't, won't catch. I might have to try and bend that down. That one's going over those points actually fine, so is the wagons. I might have to check the gauge on some of these uh, coach wheels. Gauging might be a bit off. How well is it going to push this slot around the track? Quite nicely, actually. <laughs> about as much of a crawl I can get that to do with this controller which isn't the best in the world but it's the best I've got. It's a bit of a juddery crawl and it's not very slow. Here we go. I think I'm done playing for the night because I'm actually getting tired. Uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully I can alleviate some scenery making stuff from my stepdad as well and start making my own scenery. He's got like tubs of the grass stuff and whatnot, artificial grass and a few other bits and bobs. Might steal a few trees. <laughs> don't want too many trees because I ain't got very large layout but I don't think I'm going to be artistic enough to make the trees so I might cheat and buy the trees. The grass I'll be able to do there's a couple of buildings I'm going to 
wander off with as well. And then I'll buy some kits and make some up. So it'll be a bit of mixing both. There's a bag of ballast there. I don't think he can use that on O gauge. See, I don't know if he's going to need any of the scenery stuff for his O gauge when he gets that up and running. So I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to wander off with that, so to speak. But I think the ballast is going to be too small for the scale, so. You know, because it's basically this. That's all this is, really. It does actually look like someone has a. Yes, yeah, someone has done that themselves. Anyway, I'm rambling, so thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!